everybody. Same day, same video. Jim Young here. Maybe you all can help me with this. Let's take a look here. Over here, you have a couple of clouds. You'll see that the uh, light on the left-hand side would make it appear that the light source is up there. Correct? Yeah. Up there. Has to be. Otherwise, those clouds would be lit up, but they're not. That one is. However, if I slide right over here, you'll see that the actual light source is way back there behind that mountain over there. So how in the world do you get around that cloud to light up that cloud when that's your light source? Yeah. Uh, if anybody can explain that to me, I'd like to hear their explanation. That'd be fantastic. Folks, this is Jade from the Impossible Channel. I'm going to be leaving you with this Jim Young. He has sent us two videos that are simply amazing, and one of them you can see a small object following, supposedly following the sun, and or even the sun itself. But it doesn't make any any sense at all. The sun is not small as it's, it looks um, on this video, and I have seen this with my own eyes, so I know what this is. This is not the sun. It seems to move faster than the sun, and for some reason it's up there now. What do you think this might be? This is for sure. An anomaly in the sky. Now, another thing that is happening is worldwide, everybody is seeing different light sources through the clouds. Right? A lot of people are saying that this is geoengineering or harp, but I don't. I don't think it is only geoengineer or harp. Or if it is, if it is, if it is, they might be doing it with these objects, these anomalies we are catching sometimes up in the sky. Right? So, or folks, at you know, at the very least, this could be the brown dwarf and the red dwarf. So this this might be a lot of things, right? So comment below what you think this is, please. Uh, this is very urgent. This is happening right now. So if you just observe the sunset through the clouds, you're going to see that in different positions of the sky, you're going to see light sources that are not supposed to be there. As Jim Young states, how did that light just, you know, cross the sky? And, you know, it's just, it doesn't appear in the middle of the sky, but it disappears on the other side. You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's not even connected, so it's like these light sources are everywhere, but at the same time they're very scarce and they are very um, far from one another. So whatever's going on is it's weird, and uh, definitely they're cloaking our skies. This is my opinion, right? So uh, please do forget, don't forget to push the bell button, subscribe, and push the bell button, and uh, I will share this, folks. This is this may be the actual uh, happening, you know, okay, part of the actual happening of what's to come. So share this and I'll see you again.